Yes, people, welcome back. So, first of all, I'm just going to show you my results from round three. Um, I came 29th place, which wasn't ideal. Uh, worse than previous, obviously. Uh, as you can see from the results there, there's quite a few crashes, basically, and my lap times are just mad. My fastest lap was the final lap. Um, I barely had time to, to really get back to where I wanted to be in the race. Uh, so yeah, frustrating result, um, never really got going, uh, had a bit, quite a bit left in the tank at the end, but that's racing. So anyway, here we go, this is my sort of little training week uh, before uh, before the race. Went down to uh, Coedy Brennan, uh, near Snowdonia, and just had a mad one on the rented mountain bike. Never really done it before, absolutely clueless as you can see by my camelback. Um, but yeah, I had a hell of a lot of fun uh, out with my mate Owen. Um, he's a bit more of a daredevil than I am. So yeah, just acting like total noobs on the mountain bike trails. Having a, an amazing time, giggling to ourselves. Okay, so yeah, this is the start of round four. Um, yeah, I've, I've basically I've messed up, I've buggered up, sorry, and uh, I've only recorded the first like four or five minutes of the race. Uh, really frustrating. The GoPro it records in eight minute sections, and for some reason it just did the first eight minutes, and that's it. And four of those minutes are us just farting about, uh, waiting on the line here. So yeah, uh, this was a, a very hard course. Lots of steep climbing, really uh, exhausting. It was only five minute laps. So basically pre everyone got lapped except I think the top 12 riders, which is just insane. Um, yeah, very intense race. Uh, it wasn't too technical. That wasn't really an issue. It was very dry and all nice, quite sweeping turns. Uh, it suited me very well, too well basically, because I think I went a bit too hard the first three or four laps. Well, in fact, I definitely went too hard, and then just sort of muscle-wise, I just didn't have the power uh, by the end. Got quite a good start, certainly didn't really lose any places anyway. Uh, but, you know, I'm starting three rows back, so it's always a bit of a battle. Uh, I made, made sure I stayed up front this time, I, you know, I, I learned my lessons from the previous race. And uh, so this, this guy on the left with the red bike, he's, he's someone who I'm clearly on a very similar level to. Uh, we had a right battle this race, it was good fun actually. Um, he ended up beating me, he just had that consistency at the end that, you know, when I faded, he, he didn't fade basically. So yeah, this is the first sort of steep uphill, already someone's had to unclip and lots of swearing going on around us because uh, everyone's getting in each other's way. Lots of swerving to and fro, people losing control. I love all that, it's all just the fun of the racing. Um, okay, so this is that's the first sort of uphill bit. Really exhausting. I mean I think we did nine laps I think and it just really tears you out, tires you out. Here we are sort of starting a sweeping downhill now. Um, and it's all very anarchic. Um, yeah, so it, it, yeah, it was, like I say, it was dry, so grip wasn't an issue. If anything, it was just going too fast, getting a bit cocky and losing control. So, yeah, so another, this was just very short and sweet here. You just had to make sure in the, in the later stages you didn't get caught behind a veteran. The guy screaming there, I end up headbutting the guy next to me <laughs> as we both try and avoid him. 
I think it's one clip. Um, yeah, so this is just coming to the end of sort of the, the official lap bit here. So this is our first little intro. And then you just got this horrible uh, draggy climb up here. It was fairly steep and if you wanted to attack you could really make some time up here. If you wanted to spin it out in your easiest gear you could do. Um, basically the field got split up very quickly on this course. I think the first rider I lapped was on the second lap um, because it's just it was very tiring and I, and also I went too hard. Uh, I did the first four laps very fast and then I just faded after that. It was a bit of a nightmare really. Um, just didn't quite have that consistency. Um, you know, it was very tiring. It's fantastic training. You know, you, you're doing these steep hills uh, at maximum effort. I mean, these downhill bits. Um, you know, when you when you're doing your warm up lap, fine, not a problem. Don't need to break. You can pick your line. But when your heart rate's already at 175 uh, on the first lap, and you know you're a bit more tentative, then you can't quite focus. You're not as calm. I always find that break. But yeah, coming to the end of the footage now, i uh, got this very frustrating little uh, dipper coming up here where if you, you can ride it on your own, no problem, but all these people, you keep getting stuck. And that's pretty much the whole lap anyway, but it was a frustrating race, very frustrating. Yo yo! Oh, wow. Okay. Right, that's uh, round four of the Yorkshire Summer League, and that was very hilly. Wow, lots of climbing. Uh, it wasn't a very technical course. Um, so it wasn't really one for the skillful riders, just for the sort of consistent riders. And it suited me a lot. It almost suited me too well. There was, there was quite a lot of steep climbs that took maybe 20 seconds up to a minute. And I, I sort of really got a good start, I got a fantastic start. And um, first couple of laps I really went for it, maybe a bit too hard. Um, because after about half an hour I started to fade a bit. I couldn't maintain it and you always have a bit of a lull but this was quite a big lull. I, I slowed down and um, I lo definitely lost a couple of places in the last two laps. Very annoyingly I had one guy come past me. When you're getting lapped, so like by the leader or whatever, they'll say you know on your right uh, and this guy comes up behind me and says on your right so I sort of moved out of the way I slowed down a little bit. Anyway he wasn't lapping me, he was racing me and he got me to move out of the way and just attacked on the final lap and I, I never caught him. It was well annoying. So yeah, we'll see how the uh, results come now. Uh, by the way, don't forget, I've got my rice pudding. Okay, now this time, it's m and style. That's right, m and do rice pudding. It's not just rice pudding, it's m and rice pudding. Oh, and also nothing on my nose this time, so. Yeah, win win all around. Yo, so this is the day after. I'm out now for uh, just a little leg loosening spin uh, in the local industrial estate. In the sunshine, working on my tan, as you can see. Results came out. I got 27th place. I'm a bit disappointed with that. Two races ago, my best result uh, was 20th, and I was very happy with that. That's what I was trying for this time. Uh, but you can see from the lap times, uh, basically, yeah, I went out too hard at the start. Um, I was I was going very consistently for the first five or six laps. They were only four-minute laps. Very fast. Uh, very short course. So I think we did nine laps and um, the final four laps I was 10 seconds slower. But yeah, you can really see my heart rate dropped as well. I was going from an average heart rate of about 175 
and then I went right down to like 172 and normally hopefully the plan is that you recover uh, yeah. you know you maybe have like one lap where you you're a bit slower but for whatever reason maybe you know I'm not doing that much uh, actual cyclocross training at the minute interval training I'm still sort of on the steady miles maybe that's the reason but yeah I just couldn't recover so yeah I went really hard or too hard basically and yeah so if I'd have managed to sort of shave off those 10 seconds if I'd managed to stay consistent I'd be looking at sort of 22nd 23rd place and that would have been I would have been very happy with that on such a difficult course so yeah uh, there you go there's the results on to next time I'm gonna start doing a bit more specific training now and hopefully get close to that 20th place again so yeah Catch you next time in a couple of weeks.